Hello everyone, welcome to my brand new Let's Play series of Fallout. This is a game that I played through a lot over the last 15 years and definitely one of my favorite RPGs of all time. I'm running the fixed patch slash mod pack, check the link in the description below uh, because I think it's the best way to experience the game at this point. Uh, now, let, this Let's Play is the first one of seven new Let's Play series I'm gonna start this week because I have a lot of games that I really want to play on the channel but I don't know which ones you would prefer. So, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more episodes, leave a like down below and that'll make it so the next episode comes out sooner. And I've been planning this series for a while actually because I it's, it's gonna be an interesting character that I'm gonna play, so I'm really looking forward to it because, it, well, it's just gonna be a lot of fun. I'm also gonna do my best to do as perfect of a playthrough as possible. And this is important because if you're into that notion, well, that's something that you can look forward to. Uh, so let's start a new game and uh, take a look at the character I have here for you. And of course you can pick up from the characters here. If you do this, then you don't know how to play. I, I'm kidding. That's okay. It's okay to pick those characters. I have never once played with any of those characters, ever. Now, uh, this is of course the character creation screen for those of you that know how to play this game. It um, it really doesn't need any, uh, any uh, introductions. And I can go over how it works uh, later on during the course of, uh, of uh, the Let's Play. But for right now, this is Jessie. She is age 29, and uh, she is absolutely crazy. She's actually a smooth talker. You see over here that she has speech, she has sneak, and she has unarmed. And, uh, yeah, she's jinxed. Jinxed is something that I've only ever played with once, and it was in Fallout 2, so I never played Fallout 1 with jinxed. Uh, she also has fast shot, because she is a murderous psychopath. She's crazy. Absolutely crazy, but uh, the problem with Jinx is everybody is really unlucky, unlucky, including her. So she's gonna punch enemies in the face and creep them off their head. And uh, while they, like, get their weapons jammed and break their legs as they try to kick me, and just, in general, very much chaos ensues. But, but, the thing is, I am not gonna have small guns, or big guns, or energy weapons, and I'm really, really not sure I'm ever gonna use melee weapons either. I really want Jesse to be able to just focus on an armed and just be a badass like that, like a monk sort of thing. Uh, so yeah, there it is, we got maximum action points for, with the agility. She's pretty smart, she, she nobody likes her because she's crazy. She is very unlucky. I actually had a build for her where she had a little bit more luck because of the criticals, um, but, uh, well, that that'll come later. I'm not sure it will actually. It, you can if you don't have if you have this low luck, you can choose uh, perks that give you criticals. But this is gonna be good because it's it, it it's gonna be good. I promise you. I promise it's gonna be good. I'm skimping a little bit on on endurance over here, mostly because of the perks that we can pick up through the uh, the the course of the game. But uh, well, that's gonna be something that's gonna have to wait. Let's go on in and uh, well, watch the introduction movie and uh, the overseer and see what's up. War. War never changes. The Romans waged war to gather slaves and wealth. Spain built an empire from its lust for gold and territory. Hitler shaped a battered Germany into an economic superpower. But war never changes. In the 21st century, war was still waged over the resources that could be acquired. Only this time, the spoils of war were also its weapons, petroleum and uranium. For these resources, China would invade Alaska, the US would annex Canada, and the European Commonwealth would dissolve into quarreling, bickering nation states bent on controlling the last remaining resources on Earth. In 2077, the storm of world war had come again. In two brief hours, most of the planet was reduced to cinders. And from the ashes of nuclear devastation, a new civilization would struggle to arise. A few were able to reach the relative safety of the large underground vaults. Your family was part of that group that entered Vault 13. Imprisoned safely behind the large vault door under a mountain of stone, a generation has lived without knowledge of the outside world. Life in the vault is about to change. Ha! Ah, you're here. Good. We've got a problem. A big one. The controller chip for our water purification system has given up the ghost. Can't make another one, and the process is too complicated for a workaround system. Simply put, we're running out of drinking water. 
water, no vault. This is crucial to our survival. And frankly, I, I think you're the only hope we have. You need to go find us another controller chip. We estimate we have four to five months before the vault runs out of water. We need that chip. We marked your map with the location of another vault. Not a bad place to start, I think. Look, just be safe, okay? Never before have you seen a natural darkness like this one. It almost looks unnatural to you. Yep. This is Vault 1. Welcome. So, uh, that's Jeff, I think his name is? Ed, not Jeff. Ed. Ed is dead. And, uh, we're gonna take all of his stuff. Yeah, the, uh, I'm running the, uh, GOG.com version of the game. It already comes with a, uh, a resolution patch in itself. It has, it has also these nice buttons over here. Uh, that do this. It also supports the scroll wheel, which is pretty good, and it also has a few other UI improvements that uh, really, really perk up the game and make it a little bit easier to play. I'm playing currently not. Uh, I'm playing at full HD, but it's that it's got double pixels, so it's a little bit more pixel is pixelized because this are, this game originally runs at 60, uh, 640 by 480. So yeah. Um, and yeah, let's uh, let's equip our things. What I'm gonna need is I'm gonna unload this, and I'm gonna need this thing over here, which is a uh, brass knuckles. And let's uh, start killing some rats. Ouch. Ouch again. And now for the last one. It definitely takes a little bit more effort than what I just made it look like in, in that little montage. Of course, it wasn't that subtle, so you know it's a montage, but there we go. We killed the last rat in this cave and we gained 25 experience. And this place is here mostly for... You can actually check it out in the map. Uh, mostly just to see... I like the high detail because it makes it look prettier. Uh, just to just for you to um, to uh, be able to get familiarized with the combat system and all of that. If you don't have melee uh, or even if you don't have... Um, even if you don't have a gun, um, it's uh, it's uh, it's still totally okay to uh, to kill these guys. It takes a little bit more effort, but you can kite them easily enough. So it's not a if you don't have a, oh no, I don't mean you don't have a gun. You have a gun, although you don't have a stealth boy. Let me drop this because I'm not going to use that. I'm going to keep these things, but the stealth boy they that shouldn't be part of the vault thing. This uh, this is added not by the original game. It's by the fixed mod pack. That's actually the one thing I don't really like about the mod pack. Uh, to the west, you can see stars in an open sky. For the first time in your life, you are looking at the outside world. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. So, uh, what does this mean? This means over here, an exit grid. You didn't learn about exit grids in your vault. Sounds scary. It kind of does, because this is the first time Jessie over here, with her fantastic spandex vault 13 jumpsuit. It's made of spandex, not, not the material jeans are made of. Uh, so if you want to cosplay, you need to get spandex. You need to go back to the 70s, I guess, or maybe 50s. I don't know, when was spandex invented? I have no idea, I never had anything like that. So we have 150 days left to get the water ship. So some people see this as a really scary thing, because 150 days in game time, it's 
pretty fast. It goes by pretty fast. But there's an easy, an easy way to not even care about that. I have never once failed because of the time. The only, what, the only thing you need to carry, uh, to worry about, is to not travel in the world map for too long, because that's when you pass the time. In the, uh, when we were over here in the vault, the time passes in real time. So each minute in game is going to be a minute in real life. So. Basically, it means nothing. You're not going to spend 150 days playing Fallout 1. You're going to spend probably like 30 hours at most. Uh, but in the game, in the map, or the world map or something, in this, whatever it's called, you can see then, yeah. So, we are pressed for time, but as long as we travel the least amount possible... Ooh, what is this? Unknown. Welcome to Shady Sands, stranger. Please holster that weapon while you are here. Sure. I'll go right ahead. To the south, you see an adobe wall surrounding a peaceful-looking village, and also a kid running out of the gates. What the hell is up with you? What? Are your parents after you? Oh, man, he's gone. He's... That guy's a goner. Man. Hey, sir. What's up? Why, why, do, why do I need to holster my weapon and you don't? Are you a guard of some sort? Good day. I'm called Seth. How can I help you? Well, like some information? Information? What, what do you want to know? Uh, about this place. No, a shady sense is a peaceful community. We have our own irrigation system, so we can grow our own food. If we were not plagued with raiders and rat scorpions, we would have no problems. Raiders, huh? Yeah, there are several groups of raiders. I organize guards like Ian to help f to fight them off. There is one band to the uh, southeast of here. Watch out for them. Hmm. Yeah. What about the rat scorpions, though? Ah, those damn rat scorpions have been after our Brahmins since we moved here. Not a week goes by that someone doesn't get poisoned trying to get them out of the pens. Last week, they took my brother Jarvis. Raslo, our doctor, is working for a on a uh, an antidote as quickly as he can. Hey, if you have the means to help us, w why don't you talk to our leader, Aradash? Actually, who's Aradash? Can I? Can you tell me about Aradash? You can do this, and I'll, I'll explain it a little bit. Yeah, he's the leader of our community, and a true hero. You can always find him at work in the communal hall. Well, basically, this, this thing only exists in Fallout 1, and it's the tell me about. You can actually use it to great effect if you know what to say, but most of the time you don't know what to say. For example, I want to know about a water ship, and I remember when I first started playing this game, well, apart from obvious stuff like this, and he actually doesn't, doesn't want to reply to that. Is that even a real thing? Oh, that it is, but hopefully... Well, whatever. Uh, but yeah, you can ask about the water ship, for example. I don't know if it's like I remember doing this, and uh, yeah, he just doesn't know about that stuff. He has, I mean, he's lived here in the, the farming village all his life. He doesn't know what a water ship is. But I can ask him about, for example, I think I can ask him about Vault 15. Oh, apparently not. No, but I could ask about the hub, for example, and it tells you much farther to the south than Junktown. The hub is the largest city I've heard about. Must must be a thousand people there, at least. Of course, our character would know what the hub is, so th there would be no way for you to um to uh, a be uh, in in a first playthrough to ask about that. But that actually adds it to your map. So if you want to go to the hub and don't know where it is and you want to don't want to check out a uh, an online map, uh, basically asking about it uh, to these guys, it will add you to your map. Uh, so I, it can take us to the Red Scorpion Cave. You should speak to Aradash, our leader. He likes to meet all of our visitors. You should be in a town hall, the building to the south. Yeah, I'll go to the town hall. I'll go to the town hall right now. Don't worry, I'm missing a few things. Don't you worry, I'm gonna get everything done. Hey, dog. Woof, woof. Yeah, in red, huh? What is this? A pillar. This pillar is the showpiece of the Shady Sands Square. It tells stories to remind the people of hope and peace. To remind... Hi, what's up? To remind them of hope and peace, huh? Got any Bra Brahma burgers? <laughs> yeah, that's Brahmin. Brahmin burgers, I guess. Uh, Brahma would be uh, the plural of Brahmin, right? Hey, kid, what's up? Hi, where are your parents? I don't know, around here somewhere. And he's done. And he's off. Holy crap. No, he, he wanted to meet his dog. Oh, he's back. Okay, he's crazy. Kids are crazy in this game. Um, so, yeah, this is Aradash. This is the town hall. Oh, there's something. Nice to see you as well. Uh, we still need to expand the irrigation, do you? Well, I might see about that in a little bit. I guess I'm pretty good. Even though she's, nobody likes her, she's pretty good with science. Look at that, 41%. Pretty good stuff. Uh, hello. She looks like his uh, wife or maybe daughter. Hi. Hi. I heard there was a traveler in town, but I was kind of skeptical until I saw you. My name's Tandy. What's yours? Well, my name's Jesse. Well, how do you like our little town? Bored yet? <laughs> Hell yeah. There's nothing to do here but watch the Brahmin mate. Finally! Someone else who sees! Of course, you've probably been everywhere, so this... this must be hell for you. Yeah. Well, if you're so bored, why don't you leave? Me? Leave? I wish. 
I don't know enough to leave alone. No one else wants to go. And worst of all, my father says he would have a heart attack if something happened to me. Huh, tough. Can I ask you a few questions? Sure, I guess. I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. So what else is around- So what you need. What else is around these parts? There's a bunch of cities down south, but since you're such a great traveler, I'm sure you know that already. I'm not a great traveler, but I think she might be checking my skill points in uh, Outdoorsman. Uh, and I, I think she talks about uh, the other cities. You can actually ask her about that. Like, for example, we can ask about Junktown, which we heard about before from, uh, from uh, what was his name, Seth? Uh, yeah. Junktown's a small city to the southwest. It's supposed to have pretty good trading, but my father won't even look into it. He says we need to stay protected. Yeah, right. Caged is more like it. Your father, huh? She also has a line for Aradash, if you want to ask. She has plenty of lines. All of these voiced characters, there's like 20 of them in the game. Uh, there's a bunch of characters, a bunch, a bunch more characters, but only like 20 have, uh, have voiceovers and uh, talking heads. Uh, but all of them have like hidden uh, lines in here. Aradash is my father. He's okay as far as dads go. I suppose he is. Can you tell me about v Vault 15? Mm, doesn't ring a bell. No. Okay, what about the other thing that I asked Seth about? Mm, doesn't nope. ring a bell. She doesn't know about that either. Um, yeah, thanks. No problem. Anything else? Well, so what's going on around here? We got rad scorpions. I mean, I know it's not a good thing, but no one's died from the stings. And it's the closest thing to excitement we've got here. Huh, <laughs> yeah. She's really excited about them, though. Look at this. We got we got we got we got we got, we got rad scorpions. I love that. I love I that. Mean, I know it's not a good thing, but <laughs> no. no one's died from the stings. So, uh, and it's the closest thing to excitement we've got here. Yeah, have you heard any stories from down south? Just stuff. Just stuff. Okay. No problem. Anything uh, else? No, I guess not. I could ask you a few more things if I knew. I, I don't know too many of these things. Well, thanks. That's about it. Thank you for your time. Well, thanks for talking. We don't get many strangers here, so it's always good to talk to new people. Well, see ya. Be seeing ya. And that was Tandy, voiced by Cree Summers, I believe is the name of the voice actress. Uh, and Iron Dash also has a talking head. Ooh, we got stones over there. I'm gonna take everything else except for the stones. Actually, she bartered. So let's trade with her. I think I might be able Hello to get... Hello again. Hi. Uh, I might be... Oh, yeah, she does barter. She has something for me, I think. Uh, actually, I don't... Yeah, she, that's going to be too expensive for her, so we're not going to be able to trade anything with her. We don't need to really have anything right now. Um, so, yeah, see you later. Let's go talk to Iredash. Is that the cook? A busy... Yeah. I'm too busy to talk right now. I've got to get this meal ready. Really? Sure. Uh, it doesn't seem like people are getting ready for dinner, but... Hey, man, what's up? Greetings. Your business in Shady Sands might be... I am, uh... From a small village west of here, I'm just exploring, you know, I mean, you know harm, it's all fine. I know of no village to the west. Are, uh, have you been through the mountains west of here? Uh, well, to my regret, I have not. Which begs the question, how did you make that passage? Well, it was pretty tough. I made it. <laughs> yes, mm, yes, yes, yes. I shall believe you for now. But we do not trust easily, especially those who might be dangerous. Know that Seth and I will be watching you. Well, yeah. Seth, at least. You're kind of, your eyes are kind of looking bulgy and stuff. He doesn't talk much, does he? Greetings. What may I help you with this fine day? You can actually tell him that you form a vault and he's going to be all... Uh, he's, he's not going to believe you, basically. Um, so can you tell me about Shady Sands? Shady Sands is much like a family. One that keeps to itself. Hmm. So what kind of things are around here? The gardens are on the south side. The Brahma pens are north. Although the smell is, I fear, quite intense this time of year. Hmm. Anything else? We are small and self-sufficient, so there is little else to tell. Okay. Certainly. What do you wish to know? What can you tell me about the other towns around here? Junk Town lies south of here, though there is little in the way of visitation. From stories, I'm certain there are cities south of that. From stories, huh? Do you know about the hub? Can I ask him about the hub? Because the hub is even further down. Go talk to Seth about that. He'll know more than I. Can I ask you about Seth? A fine young man, Seth. Captain of our guards. He's likely to be at the guardhouse. Speaking of guards, do you know about Ian? I don't know. Okay, what about, uh, what about Tandy? She is my daughter. It is she that makes this hard life worth living. What about, what was his name, Raslo, I think? Mm, yes, yes, Raslo is our doctor. 
If yeah. it ails you, he can heal it. I would wager he is just a little north of here at this moment. Mm-hmm. If he was fixing, what was the name of the guy? Jarvis, I think. I don't know. Doesn't know about Jarvis. Jarvis was the uh, is the is Seth's brother, and he was poisoned. We're we're gonna tend to him later on. Certainly. Uh, what do you wish to know? I wish to barter with you if you have... Don't look at me like that. Oh, actually, he wasn't looking at me like that. But let's see. I'm going to be able to sell a knife over here, I believe. Yes. For a little bit of money. Money is important because it doesn't weigh anything. And um, and you buy stuff with that. Especially later on in the game. I actually nerfed the... Uh, the Fix-It patch has, a by default, a few books that you can buy later on uh, to improve your skills. But I nerfed it a little bit because it's, it's a little bit too game-breaking, I guess. And I want to have fun. And this is where... Um, it's where Razlo leaves with his lovely, lovely wife, Razlo's wife. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna meet him soon enough, but first, I I saw a nice blonde look, uh, no, a nice looking blonde woman over here. I was mixing up the words. Uh, woman over here. She's very pretty. She's got a very pretty smile. That's why she was pretty. Hey, Katrina, what's up? Welcome to Shady Sands, Traveler. My name is Katrina. My job is to greet strangers and help them understand our village. We find that there are fewer problems if you listen to what I have to say. Uh, so, I'm looking for a watership, um, seen one? As a matter of fact, yes, my old home, Vault 15 and 1. I haven't been there since I was hurt, but, uh, you might find what you're looking for there. Someone said that they t tried to go to the vault to have a look around, but it was all dark and the elevator was broken. I hope you're better prepared. Yeah, can you tell me about Vault 15? Yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't have that entry. So, uh, what should I do if I get hurt? This is important, actually, by the way. And she tells you steam packs. This tells you about how the game works. We're not going to go over that. Uh, where can I get equipment? And she tells us to scavenge it and uh, just basically, yeah, do our thing. Bartering as well. Just, she doesn't actually talk about, um, about anything that's world relevant. Although, I think she did right there. I just asked her about this place. Yeah, there it is. So... Yeah, she doesn't say anything here. I asked her about this place, and she says, You are standing in Shady Sands. We are but a small town in a large world. We just want to be left alone. Besides some mutated animals and other creatures of the desert, all, the only raiders give us only the ra raiders give us trouble. Aradash is our leader. He is in the large central house if you wish to speak to him. Okay, what about the rest of the world? I know very little of the rest of the of the world. I escaped from a vault when I was attacked. Unfortunately, when it was attacked, unfortunately, I was very hurt and do not remember much of what happened. But Dharma was ov watching over me, and I was found found by the people of Shady Sands. I live here now. Have you spoken with Ian yet? He is a merchant guard who was hurt. He is recovering in the uh, guard guard house over there. And she points to the east. He is more widely traveled than I am. Really? Okay. Tell me about yourself, though. Oh, my life was very boring. I was raised in a vault. I lived there for many years. Unfortunately, we were crowded and life was very bad. There was a, there were, there was a chism, or schism, I think that's how it's pronounced, and many people left, taking with them the best equipment. Still, some of us tried to stay in the vault, but then we were attacked. I was hurt and I ended up here. Now I try to help people. Okay, where was this vault of yours? It was Vault 15. It is due to the east, uh, due east of here. We tried to make contact with some other vaults, but we always failed. I think it was the raiders who attacked my fellow dwellers. Be careful. Okay, thank you very much. And actually, that schism right there that she talks to, that's actually to do with uh, what the vault is and uh, well, how it was made. I'm not going to spoil it for you um, if you don't know uh, the storyline, because it's kind of crucial uh, to the storyline, what I was going to say. But... Uh, yeah, that's Gizm. That's that's that vault. That's Vault 15. The people over there, they don't like each other. Uh, and this is Ian, Ian over there. Actually, I, I, I can go back there. I think I can get 100 rounds of uh, this. This is going to be pretty expensive. And also some BB rounds. Uh, BB ball bearing, I think is the name of what it means. I know what I, what they are, but just the BB, I think it means ball bearing. Uh, so what we're going to do to end the episode is we're going to the east, and I'm going to show you a quest that uh, can actually go un... Well, it's, it's an unmarked quest. It's just some things that you can get um, some experience for. And by the way, yeah, we gained experience from uh, the, no the knowledge you have gained from Katrina. And that's why it's important to talk to her about all those things. And over here we have a guy named... What's his name? A weather-beaten farmer. He doesn't have a name. It's just a weather... Mr. Farmer, sir. Good day. Hello. What can I do for you? Uh, what's your name? I'm called Curtis. Okay, uh, can, what can you tell me about your village? Our village is small, but we support ourselves. Aside from the attacks by the raiders and the occasional red scorpion, we have no problems. Aradash is a good leader. Is he? W what are you doing? I'm a farmer. We irrigated, irrigated the desert many years ago. Although the wasteland is harsh, it is possible to grow things with patience and time. You, you have all your fields planted right now. 
you could probably do better with crop rotation. And this line is only accessible if you have, I think it's 35 or 40 skill points in science. Which most people, most characters that start with high intelligence will have, uh, but uh, if you, if not, then you won't have this. And it's a fair bit of experience and also some reputation because, well, of what happens next. Crop rotation? W what's that? Well, you only plant some, plant some of your fields, allowing the others to get back some of the nutrients that the plants used up. You let the other fields become fertile again by just tilling up whatever grows there. Oh, never thought of that. Makes sense, though. Good idea. Actually, yeah. Crop rotation is very important, especially in a uh, in a place like this. And we leveled up, and our title is now Vault S S Scion. Scion. And these titles are added by the fixed mod pack, uh, but they were present in the original um, um, uh, vol uh, manual for the game, so it's not made up. And we are going to be able to level up. Let's see where I'm going to go. I'm going to bring up my speech. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to bring up my speech too much. I'm going to go it up to 100... To, yeah, to that. And then I'm going to bring up my unarmed. Uh, I would also like... Man, I'm pretty good at this. I also like to bring my sneak up a little bit. Because this is going to be important in the later uh, game. And as the sooner we get this, the better. Because sneak and unarmed is really what it's at. Um, so, yeah. Let's see. Hello. How's it going? We still need to expand the irrigation. Well, I just told you about crop rotation, and it looks like... Well, this probably was like that before. Because <laughs> the guy didn't have time to pull out that thing. And over here, we have a couple of very important items. And I, that's why I came here. Uh, you can see them with the shift icon. Otherwise, it's pretty tricky. We got a sledgehammer, and we got a rope. And ropes are, as we all know, the most important item for any traveler. Because they are fantastic. You can sleep on them. You can tie yourself. You can uh, climb things. You can uh, hold your things with them. You can, uh, I don't know what else you can do with them. You can dry your clothes. That's just, it's never ending. The never ending uh, utilities of a rope. But anyway, the what what is about to end it is the episode. Because we are out of time for the day. Oh man, it's... My voice breaked right there, but it wasn't because I'm emotional, but it is good. It is good to be back to Fallout 1. I haven't played it since I played it, the first Let's Play that I did on the channel. Very, very early days for me, so if you go back and you see it, then my voice is going to be all different, and I will sound a little bit more drunk than I sound right now, because I do sound a little bit, like, drunk. It's I'm not a native speaker. May I be forgiven? Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for right now. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Fallout 1. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see more episodes come out sooner. Of course, I'm going to finish all of the Let's Plays that I start on the channel, but uh, in terms of priority, uh, of course, if you want this Let's Play to uh, be prioritized, be sure to leave a like. And uh, stay tuned for more Let's Plays that are, uh, are going to come out over the period of the next seven days. So, I will see you next episode. Bye-bye.